Our first lesson is dealing with the swing eighth note. And ordinarily, when we think of eighth notes, we think of the equal division of the pulse into two. So as demonstrated here, if we had written eighth notes in 4-4, four, four, we would count them one and two and three and four and, which would be the equal division of each beat into two parts. In order to better understand swing eighth notes, we will need to look at eighth note triplets, which I've notated over here. So at the same tempo as we move from eighth notes into triplets, we would have one and two and three and four and one and uh, two and uh, three and uh, four and. In an eighth note triplet, obviously we get three even attacks against each pulse. And the reason we're looking at eighth note triplets here is because swing eighth notes are roughly notated as a quarter and an eighth note under a triplet sign, which means that the first of the two attacks on each beat is roughly twice the duration as the second. So if we had a quarter and an eighth under each triplet sign uh, on each beat in 4-4, four, four, if we were then to move, we must keep the sound of the eighth note triplets in our mind, one and a two and a three and a four and a one and two and three and four and, where we're keeping the one and a two and a three and a four and, a, we're keeping the triplet E subdivision and this notation is approximate, meaning that it isn't exactly accurate. The actual exact notation would vary depending on the actual style of the swing, because swing can be played differently depending on different players, depending on different eras of music and so forth. And the interpretation in the swing eighth can vary depending on the tempo, depending on how fast the tempo is. Generally speaking, the slower the tempo, the more accurate the quarter and an eighth under a triplet sign is, because obviously it's easier to subdivide each beat into three if you're at a slower tempo, if you're at a very fast tempo, like one, two, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, it's virtually impossible to subdivide accurately into triplets at that speed. Over here, I have notated, using the quarter and an eighth notation, a rhythm that was used in the song Big Spender, which was from the Broadway show Sweet Charity. And as you see, the notation is a little bit awkward. We have one, two, and three, four, and. One, two, and three, four, and. So the rhythm of an introduction that was used for Big Spender There's a bounce. Notice that the last eighth note under beat four is actually an anticipation of what would be beat one of the following measure, but this is the short anticipation, meaning that the eighth note here is not tied to any duration of following. So this notation is reasonably accurate but you generally do not see swing eighth notes notated this way. You actually see them, as I have down here, where they look like regular eighth notes, but with the agreed upon interpretation that they will be interpreted as swing. So if we were to read this, which is a, a more difficult notation to read, I think any of us would rather see which is the notation of the same rhythm, but without an attempt to notate the swig eighth notes as quarter and an eighth under triplet sign, uh, but just writing them as regular eighth notes. And then somehow we would agree upon either the, the music, the style of the music would dictate, or we would have the actual word that would say swing interpret as a swing style. Okay, so that was a good overview of the swing eighth note. Let's now take a closer look 
at the swing eighth note, its sound and its notation. Mm -hmm. 